uh, start well. It started way before Star Trek because I I used to read yeah. a lot of I used to read a lot of science fiction when I was a kid. Robert A. Heinlein, yeah. Isaac Asimov. I used to read yes. all of them. But if you watch Star Trek, they always mm-hmm. push the New World Order. Always. Oh there, yes. There was oh, ne- yes. there was never any independent country. It was always the people of the of of the planet Earth, and that is throughout all yes. science fiction. Oh. If, if you ever saw Babylon yes. Five, they don't say yes. the United States; they say the North American Union, which, by the way, is uh, what they're playing. Yeah. So that has been science fiction. A lot of programs have conditioned people to accept giving up their sovereignty. Correct. And I've seen it in the, n- numerous programs. Yes. Well, but the analogy I was trying to make or to, to show you is that with that, that, that assimilated, assimilation, or, you know, assimilating and taking them in and making them one and the same. This is what's happen- been happening to the Boers over the last hundred years. Our identity has been stolen. You know, it has been taken. And, and the Afrikaners, some of them, uh, a lot of them, even those that are against the Boers, uh, one quick little thing. If, if during in South Africa, it's a country which in December, uh, uh, over Christmas, basically closes down. Most co- companies and factories and everything closes down. It's an amazing thing. It happens in South Africa. Just about all South Africa comes to a standstill. Everybody goes on holiday. Um, now, w- w- when the Transvaal people normally go to the coast because we don't have a sea route, we don't have uh, we, uh, we don't have access to a sea, you know, uh, it, as Transvaal itself. So we all float down to the coast, right, to get to the sea. Uh, the majority. So, and when I stayed in Cape Town for four years, uh, I would. This is years ago. I was uh, twenty twenty one, and I would hear the the, the, the Cape Townians, uh, the Cape Dutch, which I call them today, because now I realise what it's all about. The, the Afrikaner in the Cape, in other words, and they would say, "Well, here comes the Valleys again." You know, Charles Val, the Val River, the Valley, right. and uh, those people without culture. And I thought, "Wow, you know, I'm from the Charles Val. What are these acts up again? You know about?" And only years later did I start realizing, when I, 10 years later when I started getting sort of uh, a bit of brains upstairs, you know, about politics and that, that what, why they said this, you know, during the Boer War, 30, 30 plus, maybe 40,000 Boer farmhouses were destroyed by the British, burned totally to the ground, all the livestock, cows, sheep, you name it, were destroyed and killed, wiped out. But in, in the Cape Province, you must have heard and seen all the... Uh, the tours that they have, you know, look at all the, 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 the Cape Dutch uh, heritage and you know, their culture. Look at these Cape Dutch buildings. How beautiful, you know? Right. You've seen them in pictures. You've seen them in, in travel magazines and brochures and everything. And this is what the Cape people are talking about, their culture. And they turn around and say, the Transvaalers, the Valleys, the derogative term. Uh, you Valleys, you've got no culture. Here they come again. Wow. That, they helped the British to destroy our culture. During the war, those Afrikaners, the Cape Dutch in the Cape, except for those in the northeast where the Boers originated from the Great Trek, those people were helping the British. They were they, they were going around with the British and and, 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 and and assisting the British against the Boers. Well, I read Thomas Packenham's book. I don't know if you're familiar with yes. it. The... I know the book. It's, it's the only book you should read because all the others are the total propaganda. He's just it's there. Not 100% true, but it's fair. He yes. said that half the Boers fought for the British. The Afrikaners fought for the British. I always thought... Yeah, not the Boers, the no. Afrikaners. Yeah, the Afrikaners. The Afrikaners. All right, we're going to say... Okay, right, we're going to say that we really enjoyed having you on. Yes. And we hope to have you back again. You're always welcome on The Right Perspective. If you'd like to say okay. something in Tal again to the folk and let them know about your... your uh, internet radio station, please do. We'd like to encourage people to go to it. Thank you very much, Frank and John and news guy. It is a tense to tell us about South Africa and on spot via Burfold Radio as a radio sponsor for internet where you now can find on our via 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 Burfold Radio and see it work and read off. That is by my means that either radio sponsor propagate now as we have to solve on the now. I don't think. Thank you, Frank. Thank you, John. By a donkey okay. and Akpin the Yankee is, Bitterenda. Is this the uh, is, is this the anthem that you uh, you like?
Is this the one you wanted? I think he left. Yeah, I think he left. Yeah, I right. hope that's the oh. one. Oh. Oh. oh, man, we cut him off. All right. <laughs> Can't get together here. <laughs>